So the verb ser, el verbo ser. El verbo ser significa to be. It means to be. We have another word in Spanish for to be, which is estar, which you guys should be familiar with. You've already asked me the question, como esta usted, or como estas. But ser is a different kind of to be. It describes things like características. Describes things like personalidad. Nacionalidad. Or describes your profesión. We'll talk about more when we get into that in chapter 3. We talk about the use of ser versus estar, and we'll mention some more things, but let's focus on this right now. So, when we talk about verbs, there's always going to be a word that we use, and that verb is conjugate. Conjugate is going from the infinitive verb, which is ser, is the infinitive in this case, and then we're going to do something with it. We're going to use the subject pronouns. You guys should remember los pronombres personales from your lesson, our subject pronouns. Those were yo, and you should remember this template. Tu, el, ella, usted, nosotros, or nosotras. Ellos, ellas, ustedes. So those are your subject pronouns. You guys should remember those. Okay? Um, and this is the same template we're going to use to get to our conjugated verb. Conjugated verb means that it is the infinitive, which is this over here. This is our infinitive. Our infinitive has been used with a subject pronoun. So think of this area as like the filter that gives us our finished product on the other side, and C is our finished product, the conjugated verb. Okay? So what we'll do is we'll just write these numbers in here to represent our subject pronouns, our pronombres personales. Okay? So there you go. That's your filter, and on the outside comes the conjugated verbs. So what does this mean? What happens? Well, we want to use another color. So what I'm going to write in blue now is going to be the forms of ser. What's, what I'm going to write in blue is going to be this final product. Okay. So we've got yo soy. Tu eres. El, ella, usted es. Nosotros, nosotros o nosotras somos, ellos, ellas, ustedes son. Okay? So those in blue are our forms of ser. All right? So what I want to do is I'm going to erase the pronouns so that the forms of ser is the only thing that we're focusing on. So let's get rid of these. Get rid of those. Okay, so we've gotten rid of our subject pronouns. Now we're just left with our forms of say. So you can see why this template is extremely important in that these things are going to match up. All right, you're going to be matching a subject, yo, with its form of say, soy. So what do we describe with these things? Well, let's take a look. We can give you so we can give you some examples. So give me a moment to erase. And I hope you're keeping this in your notes to study with in the future. All right. That's not a good job. I'm trying to look at my computer screen over there and erase everything. Those are the things that we can describe with 
said, and what we'll do is we'll put the form of said in a different color so that we can uh, identify it easily. So let's talk about características. So let's go with black, and then we'll write our form of said in another color. So we've got yo soy yo soy profesor yo soy profesor well what form of ser are we using there we're using the yo form soy in blue and what are we describing about my, what am I describing about myself? Describing my profession. Alright? Describing profession. Yo soy profesor. Alright, what else? What else could I do? Well, let's talk about personality. Personalidad. Personalidad. Let's use a different person. Let's go with... Um, let's go with nosotros. Personalidad. Nosotros. What's going to be our form of ser that we're going to use with nosotros? You got it. Somos. Somos. Personalidad. Let's say. Trabajadores. Nosotros somos trabajadores. We are hard workers. Okay? Sorry I wrote that in blue as well, but you got it. Our form of ser is somos. All right, let's take another look. Let's do nacionalidad. Okay, nacionalidad, what could we say? Well, we could say ellos. What form of ser we're going to use with ellos? Correct, son. Son goes with ellos. And what could we say about them? We're talking about nacionalidad. We could say, ellos son peruanos. Ellos son peruanos. They are Peruvian. All right. The last thing. Let's talk about características. Tall, short, fat, skinny, ugly, pretty. Um, these characteristics are defining of people. These are physical characteristics. These are you know, hair color, things like that, whether someone's old, whether someone's young. These are things you don't want to say temporary and permanent, and we'll talk about that when we talk about ser and estar together, but you want to think more about using ser to describe people with items that are defining of them. You're a student, I'm a student, there are things about a student's life that is different than a person that is not a student. It's defining of our lives as students. So that's one thing, that's what we use ser when we're defining things about people. So we could say, um, we could even use someone's pers first name. Think about if we used Carlos. If we were to use Carlos, he's one person, what, what form of ser would we use to talk about Carlos? Am I Carlos? No. Are you Carlos? No. Is he Carlos? Yes. Anytime we have an individual's name, if we have one person's name, we're talking about one person, we're going to use this form down here, es, because he's one person. If you want to think of it like this, everything on this side, singular, everything over here, plural. One person, more than one person, four and five, okay? So Carlos is, and we're describing características, let's say he's short, Carlos es bajo, Carlos es bajo, Carlos es bajo, that's the defining characteristic of Carlos, and that's how we're describing him, so that's using say it, so if you want to, just a real quick review, remember part A, that's your infinitive verb. And our ultimate goal is way over here, the conjugated verb. Well, something has to take place here in our filter, if you want to call it that. And what that is are this is the subject pronouns. That's what happens there. 
So we use those subject pronouns with our infinitive verb here, with the infinitive, to get over to our conjugated verb. All right? That's the verb seir. So if I had to, if I had to break it down into the, just the most important things, seir means to be, but to be in a defining characteristic. A defining characteristic. Take your infinitive verb, seir, come run it through the filter that is made up of our subject pronouns, our pronombres, personales, and what comes out the other side is your conjugated verb. Hope this helps you guys with your activities in iLearn. Best of luck, and uh, you'll see me again soon.